Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem wrap-up. At least that's what it says on the run sheet. I am here, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, ready to chat with you after some sort of pre-taped wrestling event as if as if something re- is really going on. Uh, Mad Mike is with me from... Well, that's not him. What? I just lost all my cameras. <laughs> well, we're in the dark, but that's okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Mad Mike is out there from Beacon, New York, sir. How are you doing? Do 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 do. Hold on, I don't have your video right now. Like everybody, do, 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 all anybody do, sees is black. Do, Hold on a second. There it is. Do, do, there it is. Do, 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 I wish I had a, do, do, a fade in of some sort. Um, I I just think it's funny to me that every time we have raw in london or in manchester or in england Mm -hmm. it's always through through the means of time travel oh yes it is what did they pre-tape this one it was Um, like saturday wasn't it no friday it was friday what they do yeah uh they did smackdown they did smackdown first and then they did raw no like like a matinee show or they did both of them for that entire audience yep oh no Oh, no, because we remember what those used to be like. Mm-hmm. Those they, poor well, bastards. They got to see Walter lose a bunch of times. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know. Have you been to a double taping like that? I, we, we have for the, one of the holiday ones uh, here in Pittsburgh. Sorg, I can imagine what it's like watching wrestling for eight <laughs> hours. Okay. Okay. Not from any personal experience, but just the 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 imagination wanders, right? No, I've been I've been to WrestleManias. It's the same thing. That's true too. Ah, uh, that's not the same. I it's mean, similar. I don't know anybody who announced their pregnancy on 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 WrestleMania. Uh, uh, uh wait, is wait. there one? Is no. there one? I don't think there no, is. I, mm. No. I'm trying to think if Stephanie did during the Triple H Jericho feud. Uh, but maybe, but not like during the. Event yeah, it wasn't itself, during. No. Wouldn't have been during Mania. Got gotcha you yeah. there. Got gotcha you there. But I wish I didn't. Mm-hmm. Listen, I was not positive on Twitter tonight. I don't know if you saw. Wow. On the Mayhem Show account. Wow. I was very. I'm, ru- I'm rubbing off on you. I was very sassy. No, no, Raw is. Listen, man. After you see like a good weekend of good wrestling. Um, and then you go see like the shit that people are getting paid to do, um, mm-hmm. like this. It's just kind of it's very disheartening, you know. Mm-hmm. It, it really is. It's like this is what you get to do, like with all this. You're you're like the biggest, again, multi million dollar company. All of this, and this is what it boils down to. And it's just, I don't know. I think I'm offended. I didn't even watch Full Gear because, well, time. I, I haven't I haven't watched Full I, Gear. Yeah, yet. I, I mean, time and 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 drop it in thirty. 40 bucks 50, or whatever 50 for drop i ain't drop i yeah. ain't dropping 50 on i'm sorry it. No. I, I can't drop 50 bucks on a replay you know what i mean i'm sorry so, i can't do that i cannot yeah yeah so but uh, you I'll know just wait till they eventually buy them I'll out figure it out <laughs> <laughs> uh anyways uh but uh we are live we are on facebook live we're on a bunch of other places but if you want to be part of the conversation please join us on the facebook live page for wrestling mayhem show there's some crying faces i'm sorry uh um, tina you, you you made the wise decision what's that watch, uh, she did not watch raw at all she's watching niners and seahawks i mean d- at least it was live that's the that's the wise decision mm-hmm um, Regardless of how the game turns out, Lana and okay, wait, 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 good of the week, good of the week, Mike. Do you have a- <laughs> okay, I I have a good and a good because I'm an asshole. Good. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. My good of the week was I introduced the fiance to complications in weddings at wrestling shows. Oh no. <laughs> So you're just like, at least it won't be this bad. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember how the topic came up, mm-hmm. um, but Stephanie McMahon was brought up, mm-hmm. and she was like, 
hasn't she been married like on the show? I'm like, yeah, she's been, she's had like, I had to think three weddings and a vow renewal on wrestling. Mm. And she's like, do I know any of the, like three weddings besides triple H? I'm like, no, no. One of them was triple H. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, the, the one with triple H that actually technically counts in storyline was when she was drugged at a drive through <laughs> wedding chapel. You know, the important sounding one. Yeah, but then it came out that they were duping Vince anyway, so it's kind of legit. Mm-hmm. But um, I told her, I'm like, you will not know about her wedding to test because uh, not only is he now dead, it was not very memorable. Mm-mm. But um, I did, I did have her guess who the other one was. Okay. And I told her, I'm like, the only clue I will give you is that it happened in 1998. She's like, okay. And she's like, I only have two guesses. It's either The Rock or The Undertaker. And I'm like, you're Whoa! right! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so I showed her the whole wedding ceremony with Taker and Stephanie. And then I showed her the following week with the reveal of the higher power. <laughs> So, so, and you're not even getting into Billy and Chuck. You're not even getting nope. into. Uh, well, no, uh, because we were Lita, just talking, Lita and Kane. We were just talking about the weddings of Stephanie McMahon. Yes, it was very Stephanie. So you're saying there's a chance for part two of this conversation? Oh, we still have a year before the wedding. I, <laughs> That's right. Pace her. Pace her for this. Yeah, it's not, although I will say at some point during Raw tonight, she was watching, and I was playing a game on my phone. She's like, get your head out of your phone and watch wrestling. I'm like, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're like an indie wrestler uh, picking was, on the front was, row. Well, because she was like freaking out over this one move that Cedric Alexander did. I'm like, oh, cool. What was it? And it was just like um, like the flipping out of an arm drag thing. I'm like, oh, yeah, they do that all the time. That's great. Did you see the one where there was like there was an indie wrestler that uh, apparently during a, it seemed to be during a match uh, went and unplugged like some kind of video game that was off in the corner? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> That's just rude. Somebody did that. Somebody did it at RWA. It was a good uh, a, a new guy, uh, this uh, Alonzo Junior guy, uh, who was very very good by the way. He's the one that jumped over the kid in the chair. If you saw that gift that we were putting around a little mm-hmm. bit ago, um, and like he did like a couple moves in, and he slid out and told it to, and and told somebody to get off their phone like in their face. And I was just like, man, you're the good guy here. Like, don't like. Yeah, man. like, like if a heel does that. Yeah, totally yeah, like, like that's that's, yeah. And, and which the heels not- do. Like, I know they've yelled at people in the front row of um, of uh, uh, Revenge Pro, but I, I know that. But the but then again, like that girl puts out like I forget her username right now, but she's got like a killer Instagram of what she just like ringside photography mm-hmm. with her phone. So it's just yeah. like, nah, let that girl go because she's. Mm-hmm fucking making you look good yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's like she just posting shit you know i mean that's that's what she does and that's fine you know we couldn't get we couldn't get cameraman rob to put the phone down during ring of honor a couple weeks ago <laughs> like he, there was a picture um rev pulls this picture where he's holding the belt up for shane taylor and mm-hmm. i'm in the background he was like he was just like he, he made this comment of like like sorg looks like a proud papa watching us so i'm just like <laughs> I was like, yeah, but you notice Rob can't take a night off because <laughs> he's got the phone up and everything, trying to get shots of everybody. Probably getting one of Roosh, Roosh not Shane Taylor and Rev, which is a mistake. Um, yeah. So there's that. No, it was not Kayla. Um, I, and, and Tina, I did not show her the demon Stephanie from uh, the renewal. <laughs> it, I. I figured the the oh, reveal of the higher power was enough. That was the that's like lion face Stephanie. That's lion face and post surgery, Stephanie. Oh yeah, that's oh, when she yeah. was really uh, showing off the goodies, mm-hmm. filling out that dress a little more this time. Around. Displaying her assets. <laughs> um, but but the other good thing, because I'm an asshole, uh, <laughs> I, so all right, and this is going to sound petty and catty, and I apologize in advance, but okay. I just thought it was okay. very funny. We're setting the stage here. Yes. So um. Sorg, you saw Jay and Silent Bob reboot, right? I just saw it yesterday, dude. Okay. Yeah. I saw it on Saturday. Okay. Okay. Thank you, now, Wire now, Release Weekend. Now, we are not going to spoil what Chris Jericho does. No. <laughs> I'm not going to it spoil it. It was a surprise. I got to say, it was a surprise. Just, just a skosh. It was, I just um, like, that's not where I thought they'd stick him. 
duh, phrasing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm not even going to get into that because that's a whole ball of wax. I'm not even going to dive into. But I will say I went to the live showing with Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. Yeah, they were just here this week too. Mm-hmm. So when they showed like the credits, they you know show every cameo that's in the movie. Mm-hmm. Every cameo. And you get like, oh, oh, oh. When Chris Jericho comes up, complete and utter silence. No. No one knew who the fuck he was. And I'm talking, this is hipster New York crowd. Which is how I who, feel about all the might other. I have even watched AEW because mm. they heard Kevin Smith was on it. So, so like, and this is like, and again, you didn't see his hand. <laughs> There's a re- no, oh, yeah 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 you, no, would yeah, yeah you would know if you you, you didn't know. see his outfit no you didn't see his outfit you didn't you but you, he was there I was just like I, I don't know every person that's been on his podcast that, that makes a cameo I, I know Kevin Smith you know. has been on his podcast like they've been on each other's podcast oh no no I mean on, on Kevin Smith's podcast like the random people like they, there'd be names of people I'm like I don't know who the fuck that is oh yeah you know? of course like there was you know I was listening to this thing about like the guy holding coffee in the first one is in this you know something like spoiler sorry no it's that's fine. That's fine. It's, By the way, it's a very good movie. It is. It's. It's. It's, it's very good. It's very good. If uh, I, it's. It's just like there was a little bit of like, man, was the first one this cheesy? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it probably was. was. It probably was. Cheesy. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, um, and and I'm not gonna lie, I rolled tears a few times. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It and was. It, it was Affleck had the best scene in the movie. It was great. I, I just I just heard the story about how how they got Affleck at like the last minute mm-hmm. and they wrote that scene basically a day of. Yeah, that's incredible. Affleck had the best scene in the movie, like last day of shooting, and they're like, "What we do with him?" Um, um apparently he was originally going to be Cockknocker. No, uh, Macaulay Culkin no. was. No, no, like that's what they were going to throw him from, in on from Kevin Smith's mouth. Oh, they were going to make him Cockknocker. That was one of the options. Okay. Yes. I got you. Because yes. they had yeah. lost Macaulay Culkin to do it. Yes. <laughs> so. Spoiler. And then they're like, because they couldn't get Mark Hamill to do it because Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. That price went up. No, <laughs> I don't even think it's the price. I think it was more availability and Disney didn't want Mark Hamill playing someone named Cockknocker <laughs> three months before. They might have a little bit of a say Three in months that. before Rise of the Sky. No, I don't, you know, no, I don't care how good your relationship with uh, Ke- Kevin Feige is. It's, um, yeah, but anyways, so let's, let's get back to wrestling for a moment. So I, I filmed. You have to. <laughs> well, well, I got good stuff. I got good stuff, okay, man. It's over right. on Indie Wrestling Network. Okay. Um. It, actually, it is most of it. Well, <laughs> I got. I got to film. Not just a cheap plug, folks. I got to film uh, two shows this weekend. Uh, actually, we got the live. We got the live stream, live switch, um, Fight Society on Friday night, and then uh, I was at Prospect Pro Wrestling, uh, Rise Wrestling. I'm going to start at it on tomorrow to find out what goes on there. All I know about that is Honey Badger returns. Excellent. And she's a very different Honey Badger. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, are we talking Ziggy Haim different? Oh, I, I, what? No, I. She's got the same name that I don't have to take a lesson to pronounce. Okay, it's Haim. Haim. It's Haim. Haim. Okay. Excuse me. Case in point. Uh, okay. <laughs> love you, Ziggy. Um, no, that she's so that's a whole thing, and that's actually going to be posted if it hasn't been already. I think it's going to come very soon. Um. But uh, Fight Society was a lot of fun. Uh, another main event with uh, finally uh, Beast Man. All now Beast Man did go through a Ziggy Heim type change. Is Beast Man now called Jinx? No, 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 no. no. I, I mean more, that would be amazing. I mean more with same visually. outfits and everything. I mean more visually. So he, t- you remember Troy Lords? Balls hot. No, well, not as balls hot anymore. The yeah, pants. The so pants. That's how I remember him. Okay, you don't remember the part where he was pantsless on the couch over here. Sorg, we had for years, anytime <laughs> someone said Troy Lords, we had to scream balls hot. Well, it's become Pavlovian. You, you know how like Troy is very, he has glitter and makeup yes. and, 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 yes, and everything. I, I had to say balls hot. Are you ready for Glam Beast Man? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Glittery Glam Beast Man. I'm with it. Yes. And I'm he had it. he had a fight with uh, Shirley Doe in the main event on Friday. Uh, they went all over the battlegrounds, including up into the production area. 
Oh, boy. Uh-huh. How much equipment did you lose? I didn't lose anything. I thought I was going to lose a TV. I thought I was going to lose that. <laughs> I was. I thought I was going to lose the house's hard cam for a moment oh, um, boy. when they started throwing the one guy out of the balcony, uh, but uh, like right where the hard cam was uh, on a shelf up there. And uh, it, the, the, the clip is actually over on the Fight Society Facebook page and, and, and uh, YouTube. Uh, so if you want to go see that, uh, you can hear me yelling um, at them because I was not clued in on this. And mm-hmm. it's truly done on the Beast Man. Um, uh, even if you were, it wouldn't have mattered. No, it wouldn't have because it's truly done on the Beast Man. Exactly. Um, I, I walk into Prospect Pro Wrestling and uh, I didn't expect to get uh, put into a bar fight. Okay. I wore somebody's you, hat. I still haven't figured out who it was. I think I, I think I inadvertently stole uh, Zach Nystrom's hat at one right. time. At one point, I didn't figure out where it came from. I, I, I but uh, uh, so Marshall, Marshall Gambino, and Bob the Goon fight over to the bar. Like it's just like the locker room empties at the end of the show. The entire okay. locker room, big mm-hmm. brawl all over the place. Marshall's coming out. He's a promoter, and he's like, "What the hell, guys?" Starts fighting Bob the Goon. Gets over to the bar. Then they both. You know, you'd think Marshall would have would have some sort of an expertise in moving people. You would think. You would think. Well, we moved them over to the bar. Then they okay. had shots, and then Hooven comes and dumps uh, uh, Ronan Labelle over the bar. It was uh, a full bar fight so scene. As per usual, everything is Dan Hooven's fault. And then everybody cut finishers of themselves and everybody in WWE on mm-hmm. the man dime Elijah Dean. Okay. Yes. Uh, Marshall Gambino has a very nice form for a razor's edge. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so I saw 3D. I saw choke slams. Um, it was it was fun. It was, again, a, a great weekend to remind you why the hell I'm around this stuff. It's just you never know what's going to happen, and sometimes you're in the middle of it. Um, and somehow I came unscathed, came out unscathed from this one. And uh, that's both those shows are up over uh, indywrestling.us. You can find the latest Prospect Pro Wrestling and Fight Society shows uh, with links to where to see them on digital download networks, DVDs, whatever you want to do there. And of course, uh, 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 clips are on all the social medias too. Rise mm-hmm. coming soon. Rise with the Y coming in this week too. Because I got to sleep sometime, man. <laughs> so I took the day off to see Jay and Slam and Bob last yesterday. I said I'm not going to do res- wrestling other than getting the clips up so people can see their matches. But I was like, we we watched Jay and Silent Bob, and we went home, and I I, I fin- finished off uh, the last half of Agents of the Shield with Missy from last season. So okay. we're caught up on that, and I'm trying to figure out where I left off on Gotham, sir. Oh boy, ah, uh, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Everything I was watching, I... everything I was watching on, I've canceled, so I don't know where I left off. Oh boy, <laughs> like I need. Th- I, you know I, what? Just. Just watch the last episode. Watch the last episode. Watch, no, watch like the a last season. Watch and a the half. last two episodes. Watch, two just because it'll be more fun for you if you have no fucking idea what's going. on. Yes, I'm like, what the fuck is this? No, it's bad enough that I like, kind of knew where some, one thing was going, and it was. But anyways, wrestling. <sighs> Again, do we have to? Um. The, 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 there was there's some good stuff tonight. This we're at that part was, of the show. Was there? I, you gotta appreciate them showcasing some NXT talent, though. No, wait, they really did no. squash everybody, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did did I did I witness? Because are they are were those the the UK tag team champions that got former. squashed? Former, yeah, former. They, they are former. To, uh, Gallus, I believe. <sighs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm sorry for me to keep Spoiler up. Spoiler right alert! Now. Spoiler alert! Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm a little kind of uh, not crazy about that, um, but it gave me a reason to retweet Riz interviewing Pete Dune and uh, and uh, Mark Andrews from 2013. Uh, but uh, let's see. Everyone is going into their holes. Disney Plus drops tomorrow. Is that tomorrow? Yep. I thought mm-hmm. it was. I thought that it was is when- tomorrow. It's tomorrow. That was Wednesday. I thought it was Wednesday. I like nope. I lost tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll be a... I'll be having it on during the Mayhem show. Man, <laughs> man, guess who's catching them? Holding their Ducktales and their <laughs> Star Wars Rebels and, and... Pavlovian. Jeez, jeez. I'm so, never... sorry, sorry. What what is the first thing you are going to watch on Disney Plus? 
honestly, mm-hmm. we can go queue up an episode of either Tailspin or Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. Solid, solid. Like choices. if I if I want if I want to be honest to myself, I think that's what mm-hmm. I'm gonna do. Solid choices. Yeah. And, and All it's, right. First movie. First movie. Yeah. First movie. You know, I've never seen Frozen. Oh, Sorg, you'll love it. It's great. That's what I no, keep I'm hearing. It, it's it's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Very uh, good music. Catchy. I know. Um, I've had. Listen, man. I've had like like, you know, uh, uh, people in my car for a lift, and their daughters in the back seat, and I'm like, I see mm-hmm. them with like a little Elsa doll, so I cue up the fro- that that Let It Go song, yep. and and it's adorable and amazing. Yep. Solid. Yes. Fro- Frozen. That's a that's a solid. Solid start, Sorg. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is a solid start. Um, by the way, uh, can we talk about how easy Ronnie is to convince? Ronnie? Yes. Why? So Ronnie posted uh, that with Disney Plus dropping tomorrow, he wants to do a podcast about uh, older Disney movies and how fucking weird they are. Okay, Which I'm in. I'm, I'm all in. Dude. I'm all in for. Like I didn't mention this in the comments because I wanted to fuck with him, uh, and he doesn't listen to the show. So I can say whatever I want. And he said he was going to start with a black cauldron, which. Ooh. Yeah. Solid choice. However, I told Ronnie in all caps and I called him Ronald because I was serious (laughs) that the first fucking movie he needs to goddamn watch is rookie of the fucking year. Shit, That's on there. That's right. Yes, it is. (laughs) It only took. Two Oni Lorcan comments, in all caps, <laughs> and one GIF for him to be like, "Fine, I'll watch that first. I'm like, "Ha ha! I win." Man, man. <laughs> and you know what else is on there? I was looking through a list. Ten things I hate about you. What? I don't know why that's. This on list there, is gonna get ran. This list is gonna get a random because it's gonna be all like touchstone pictures stuff. Yeah, like three minutes. Three minutes and a baby is gonna be on there, man. So it has to be did right. Did Boston New Line? Uh, no, that's a Warner Media thing. That'll be on yeah. your. That'll be on your HBO Max. Uh, I think if you have HBO, you shouldn't have to pay for HBO Max. Well, if you have HBO, it's the same price. Wait, I'm told. what? It's going to be the same price, dude. What is this podcast? Oh, uh, okay. So it's just if like you listen to the stuff. awesome cast, that's going to be the same price. And if you happen to have AT and T Unlimited, and that includes HBO Now, or with many of your plans that are Warner Time Warner uh, HBO owned entities, uh, they are just going to say, "Oh, cool, you got Max now." Oh, all right, cool. Because I get it through. I have it through my mom's cable, which is you will like. Just, you will is, likely get an opportunity to get it for um, as an upgrade, like an easy upgrade with no more money or free through an opportunity. Oh, that would be just that would like be how, delightful. just like how all these other plans, like Apple TV Plus, like we have it because my mom bought a phone and I threw it on our on our family plan. And it was like, oh, cool. Mm-hmm. I watched ten minutes of the morning show. Cool. How was like it? I mean, watch that. I don't know. Watch ten minutes of it while we're at Sonic waiting for our food. Okay. <laughs> so it's like I don't really have a lot to really say. I hey, I just caught up on Silicon Valley today from this season. So I need to I need to start watching gotta that. Get my Watchmen. Gotta get my my whatever that darkness thing is. Darkness falls in. I, I I mean, it's like it, his his dark plans or something. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. I, I can't know. think of the name. So, um. So Either way, wrestling, so I guess. we're going to skip all of our wrestling this all right, week. You know what? You know one good thing about Raw tonight? Survivor Series is going to be fucking great. Really? I am yes. amazed you have such a positive opinion of a Survivor Series. Because every match has NXT in it. Hmm. <laughs> so it is interesting. So well, while, while we're going not... to get AJ Styles versus Nakamura versus Roderick Strong. Hmm. Yeah, that's a mayhem mania match. That's a mayhem mania match. <laughs> that's a mayhem mania match. Like six weeks in, when a so, lot of the good guys have been chosen, and someone just realized, oh shit, I haven't booked Nakamura. So I, I well, I, you know, just like with J- Japan stuff, um, I love that AEW does the interviews afterwards, the press things afterwards, okay. and Chris Jericho is on there, and he's thought they're asking about the Monday Night War. 
and he's uh, he's going on about like, well, it's just another show now, and they'll have I'm sure they'll have Roman Reigns on there in the next month, and I'm sure Hulk Hogan will come back and do TV studio for the first time since '98 when <laughs> Memphis was one thing he dropped. I was just like, man, this is great. Like just hearing him trash talk him is fun, right? Um, I, I don't know if he has room to do that anymore. I don't know, man, but it's 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 it's, it's entertaining as a Jericho fan. I'm entertained by it. Yeah, uh, but anyways, um, Jericho's kind of losing a lot of luster with me lately. Really? Yeah, really? a lot of luster. Yeah, he's, he's he's I'm with it. I'm with it. It's because of that role on Jane Silent Bob, isn't it? Uh, that and who he recently had on his podcast. Oh yeah, well, well that's that does kind of fit together. That, doesn't that it? tracks a little bit, and uh, I'm not a fan of how it tracks. Yeah, not crazy about that. I'm not not real big on it. That they don't want a little bit of that bubbly. <laughs> But anyways, um, but no, like kind of the are you know I feel like NXT is kind of folding into as just another brand, and this is kind of their acceptance and rolling into that. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Tina says that sorry, she's kind of more psyched about the NXT Takeover Women's War Game. Match. Yes, yeah. Do not, Tina, Tina, do not misunderstand me. <laughs> I it. If I had a choice, I could only watch one pay per view that weekend forever. It's War Games. Man. <laughs> Do not get this twisted. And that I'm is. I'm just saying Survivor Series looks a hell of a lot better than Survivor Series has in the past. Um, one thing I think I am going to do, I, I've kind of played with this before, but we will do a Survivor Series watch party here. And I think I'm going to put a, if anybody wants to come over and watch uh, NXT TakeOver with me, since we'll be covering two wrestling shows that mm-hmm. night. So I, I am ups- I think I'm going to be watching them all in one day. Yeah. Because I have a wedding the night of War Games. Listen, man, some of us do things on Saturdays. Sorry, AEW. Yeah. Sorry, every other wrestling promotion that's not WWE. Yeah, so I will be turning off all social media mm-hmm. Saturday night because I do not want to get spoiled before <laughs> games. Oh, and, so hard. And I think I think that Sunday is just going to be me watching War Games right into Survivor That's Series. That's the worst and thing I'm for me. I'm excited Because you know it. what happens after a Saturday night of like indie wrestling? I sit, I, I sit, I, I, you know, before I go to sleep, I just sit there on Twitter and find out what all happened in wrestling tonight. Because mm-hmm. a Saturday nights when most of the indie shows are, and you're like, "What fucked up thing did Denhausen do? What did RJ City do? What's Warhorse up to?" Uh, oh, he's ruling ass, Sorg. Other ruling than rolling ass. ass, which is all the time. Uh, I, I said earlier this week that my Twitter feed is basically Danhausen, Warhorse, Warhorse, and uh, and Shiro season four, and that's it. Fair. Yes. That's fair. Also, also everybody, go watch Shiro season four. Watch the first three first. But uh, um, it's worth it. That's another show I want to watch. I watched it. I, in, I watched it in like two days. I haven't even caught up on iZombie yet. Skip iZombie. This is much. Oh, I love iZombie. I love it too. I did. I I fell out of it after like three seasons. Like we, we get it. You're so a zombie. You four. eat stuff. There's only four seasons. Oh well, I guess. <laughs> I'm just happy to see the guy. I'm from telling Wings you again to The Walking Dead here. I'm telling you to finish it off. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. but oh man. And Sorg, do you know what we have in a month? Hmm. Do you know what we have in a month? In Sorg? a month? I yeah. I don't know. Crisis. <laughs> Brother, not even oh. close. Sorg, not even close I, to be caught I, Sorg, up. Sorg, I don't care. I don't care where you are. Just 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 tune in for those five episodes. Nope. Sorg, do it. I can't, man. What, what it, dude, I don't watch TV. Come on. Sorg, how the fuck else am I gonna talk to you about? It? You can't. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you, so you have to watch it. Oh, here. Do this for me. I'll find out about it. Do this for the culture. It's fine. The Dude, nerd whoa. culture. The nerd okay, culture. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't think we could use that hashtag. Um, anyways. Uh, I don't, Brandon's asking, give, give me the a next trans- so-called couple going to get pregnant next? Mm. That's, a, that's an interesting question. What a rewrite. You know, it was, Mike Canellis uh, left Bennett. He got called out on Ring of Honor recently too. Like he was, he was. I still think he's technically employed. Uh, yeah. I mean, but when you ask for your release, they kind of take you off TV. Yeah. By the way, speaking of, Sin Cara also asked for his release. I heard and then somebody's like, "Are we gonna get Visco versus Sin Cara?" <laughs> no, no. Uh, all right. So what else I heard? Um. Uh oh, God, it's a writer at Uproxx. So I forget who it is. I believe her name is L. Okay. <laughs> she she tweeted. With 
with the uh, with the news of Sin Cara asking for his release, Elio del Fantasma just got a twingling in the back of his neck, <laughs> knowing that while Sin Cara may ask for his release, a character never dies. <laughs> and I responded, I knew he was going to get haunted by the ghost of Dario Cueto at some point. <laughs> That's God great. damn it! I want Lucha Underground season five. We were we were setting up for Dario Cueto to go on a time travel Endgame journey. Mm-hmm. You remember that, Sorg? And then Endgame happened. <sighs> Sorg, I here's what I want to do. I want. I I think I may write a spec script. <laughs> okay. Where. It picks up where Lucha Underground Season 4 left off. You know how much fanfic? It, you think Lucha Underground fanfic fic is a huge thing out there? It is for me. <laughs> but I, I, I want to... Dario Cueto goes so far back in time that he goes to when every major star of Lucha Underground left the promotion and turns into a person who signs them at the company that they're at now. Okay, like when, like when, like when Killshot leaves, like Killshot leaves, he takes he takes the mask off, he walks out. All of a sudden, Dario Cueto morphs into like William Regal, like young man, I have a space for you in NXT. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like he just goes back and takes everyone away from the temple so that his death will never happen. <laughs> So, but he is the one who freed Rey Mysterio from the dungeon. Boom! We finally did it. Dario Cueto finds Cain Velasquez. Cain Velasquez is the one who breaks Rey Mysterio out of that dungeon. Sorg. <laughs> Great. Yes. And then that brings it around to where we're at now. Yes. Wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, there's a there's a rich tapestry here. I need to tap it. I need to go for it and just oh, try to explain geez. everything away. Man, Mike, I don't know what this show is, but I think it needs to come to an end. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that's because this show is recorded on Friday and we haven't even watched Raw yet. No, oh, <laughs> because joke. what can we get? What can we guess is going to happen? A match with Walter, a match with uh, more NXT talent, and some bad pregnancy angle. I mean, this is easy, guys. Yeah. And um, apparently all the, like, if you read the results, too, first of all, they completely missed over an Eric Rowan match. <laughs> Every result taping. Did we reveal read. what's in the cage? No. I, I swear. Assume, I assume it's the head of Katie Vick. If it's, I swear, if it's freaking um, the rat from uh, the Dustin Rhodes TNA <laughs> run, I'm you fucking done. You mean Terry? You mean Terry? Oh, you really call it Terry? Yeah, that rat's name was Terry. Um, oh, that's a good question. Do you think Krista Joseph? Oh, no, would, it might have been Marlena. Do you think Krista Joseph would tell us what was in the in the works? I don't know if they actually had a like. He might give us the basic, the bare bones. There was a the Bible, structure. man. There was a there was a show Bible. Oh yeah, there had to be. Like there is, there they, is. You don't bring in Wade Barrett if there's not a plan. There are post-it notes on the season five board in the season four writers' room. Can oh, we should just ask for that board. <laughs> Listen, if you just had a post-it note board from season five, what would it look like? Oh, my God. Fuck. We need to get him back on. Get... Oh, sorry, can we get him on for the Christmas episode? <laughs> well, it's going to be a good guy special, I think. So we, could, But we could. A very DeJoseph Christmas. A very Lucha Christmas. I don't know yeah. any. I mean, I, I guess I we know. We wish you a Merry Chris Joseph. I mean, I I kind of know luchadors, but one's a one's a, a Pittsburgh luchador, and the other one's a drunken luchador. So, I don't think that counts. I I don't think it doesn't not count. Not wrong, not wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, anything else that happened on Raw? Um. Oh, well, I was getting at before. If you read the spoilers, apparently after that main event tonight, the Fiend attacked Randy Orton. Ooh. I thought that was a part of Raw. I'm like, huh, how are they working this in? Turns out, 
They don't. I got, I, I got confused because I, I I thought I saw a thing about Bray Wyatt revealing the Universal Championship on the Firefly Funhouse. And I'm like, oh, I didn't finish the last like 20 minutes of SmackDown. Uh, so I no, finished that it. Was on, that was on WWE Backstage. It was. Then then it was a fucking trap that made me watch the last 20 minutes of SmackDown and nothing happened. Correct. <laughs> Although uh, The Fiend did attack Daniel Bryan. He did. So we'll be getting that match at Survivor Series. Don't mind that. And that kind of goes with the he's attacking people that have wronged him in the past mm-hmm. sort of thing. So, yeah. 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 Christmas to Joseph. See? Christmas See, Matt, to Matt's Joseph. On it. Matt's on it with me. Yep. Yeah, he's busy with Major League Wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> hey. it's not too busy for us. Not too busy for us. I can't imagine Major League Re- Wrestling takes up as much time as Lucha Underground. I cannot imagine. That I mean, all. no disrespect to Major League Wrestling, but I, I, I and I I know very little about them as well. Um, but other than big names get attached to them, and they did like a, a pay per view or something. I'll, I'll so see. Like. I'll see if I can reach out. Yeah. I'll, see, I'll see if I can reach out. See if uh, see if we can get them on here for like. We should. Can we just resurrect the midweek war one week after NXT AEW just to, to officially do that? Sorg, <laughs> I thought we were actually going to do that. It could be. No, no ideas are off the table right now. Oh, I would, I would love to hear because I think, um, I think the Joseph is a little bit more in my line of thinking about AEW. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. <laughs> that'll be interesting. He is a story guy. Uh huh. And there's uh-huh. not much of that going on. Has he been talking about it online? Uh, I saw him mention one thing here or there, but I think that was before he got. Oh, he was kind of slamming. Yeah, he was slamming some storytelling in there. Yeah. No, no, he certainly was. Yeah, because because there wasn't any happening. I have not watched Hood and now, Slam. And now Brandy Rhodes has tried to go full Lucha Underground, and I'm not sure what is happening with it. Yeah, there's some here and there, and um, yeah. yep. My and Mike 483 on the Twitter, YouTube.com/slash Poppy at Sorgershawn on the Twitter. We have, of course, uh, on uh, geez, I think should probably confirm this. I think tomorrow we have uh, Matt Light, who is going to be opening for Mick Foley when he comes to town here in a couple weeks. Uh, he is scheduled to join us on the show, and uh, he also had the maker of the Fiend Mask on his podcast last week. So I recommend everybody go check that out. Um, I'm hoping to squeeze that listen in before the show myself. Um, also, we have the main event. Duke Davis and Gannon Jones Jr. will be back in the studio. Uh, we haven't had him on for like a year or so. Is, was, is Liddy coming? I do. Liddy is unconfirmed. <laughs> so okay. I haven't seen much of Liddy for a while. I'm worried about him. We're going to ask. I'm hoping Liddy didn't go to rehab or anything like that. Or, or is, is it that because what... it's getting colder out? Yeah, that is true. Like, he has to, you know, fly south for the winter. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think that's how that works. Is that works. how that works? No, okay. I was just going to say maybe maybe, maybe his coat's too thin for the winter weather. Sure. Oh, coat I, of fur, oh, I, I don't know. I the, the shedding, the shedding with that guy, oh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Makes great mayhem mania picks. That's all I know. Just, just take his Zyrtec. Just take his Zyrtec. Mm, mm. It'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know that's how that works. Okay. Yeah, that, it is. That's how that works. That's how that works. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody in the chat room for joining us as well. Again, please check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com and our friends over at IndieWrestling.us for uh, the interviews as well. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys tomorrow night. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time in the Don't give them what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time in the This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.